It's a lady in London here. Today I want to take you on my self-guided Islington walk from my blog. There's lots of detailed information about the route and map on my blog, aladyinlondon.com, so you can look there for all the details. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoy the video. This is a great neighborhood and it's full of amazing shops, restaurants, cafes, side street squares, you name it, it has it. I hope you enjoy looking around. Start your Islington walk at Angel Tube Station. You can arrive by bus, tube, or on foot from other parts of central London. When you exit the station, turn left to walk south down Islington High Street. When you reach the big intersection, turn left on Goswell Road. As you go, you'll start to get a feel for the local neighborhood. Remember that this is a residential area, so make sure to be respectful of local residents, houses, and everything else. But you already knew that. This video will take you on the whole of the walking route on my blog, and it'll also show you a bonus at the end, so make sure to watch all the way through. Soon you'll find yourself on a residential street called Duncan Terrace. It has a skinny garden running through it. You can walk up the street or through the gardens, depending on your preference. Don't miss the views of Regent's Canal halfway up the street either. The colorful boats are fun to see, and you can even walk around down there if you want a detour. Back on Duncan Terrace, there are plenty of architectural details to take in. It's a fun place to walk around. Eventually, you'll take a left on Charlton Place. There are more beautiful houses and colorful doors here, and they'll lead you along to Camden Passage. Camden Passage is one of my favorite places in Islington. This skinny pedestrianized street has great shops, cafes, and markets, so it's a fun place to browse by or stop for a coffee or meal. Soon you'll reach Upper Street, the main shopping and dining street in Islington. You'll be in the heart of the area here. Soon you'll reach Islington Green, where you can stop for a rest if you need to. Next, you'll swing back around into Camden Passage, where you can explore more markets, cafes, shops, and restaurants. Back out on Upper Street, you'll walk by all the colorful shops and restaurants that Islington's High Street is known for. This is a fun place to stop and browse and buy if you want to. Your walk continues on Almeida Street, where things get into the heart of residential Islington. There's a theater you'll pass by and a cafe, and eventually you'll go down a narrow passageway. At the end of the passageway, you'll find yourself in Milner Square. You can soak up the surroundings here, then walk north to Barnsbury Street. Barnsbury Street has great houses and local pubs, so it's a fun place to explore and stop for a drink if you want to. After Barnsbury Street, you'll have a chance to explore some of the area's famous squares. Lonsdale Square has great colorful doors and nice architectural features. Stonefield Street has more great historic doors and details.
You'll also find yourself in squares with hulking churches and great colorful doors. The next stop is Thornhill Road. You'll pass by pretty green spaces like Thornhill Road Garden, and there are pubs like the Albion where you can stop for a drink or a meal if you need a rest. From Thornhill Road, you'll walk down Brooksby Street. It has great colorful doors and details to admire. Next, you'll continue for a short stretch on Liverpool Road. When you get to Islington Park Street, you can walk down to Upper Street again. Back on Upper Street, you'll continue north to Highbury and Islington Station. Your walk ends at Highbury and Islington Station, but there's an added bonus, so keep watching. Highbury and Islington Station is right by Highbury Fields, a great park that's perfect for relaxing on sunny days. It's a great way to end your walk. I hope you enjoyed seeing this walk as much as I enjoyed showing you around. Like I said before, the whole route and map can be found on my blog, aladyinlondon.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel before you go. Happy walking!